welcome back to our channel. And if you're new here, I'm Shruti. And I'm Dre. And together we are Beauty and the Beard. Today we're watching Rick and Morty. Season 6, episode 5, and it's called Final Decimation. So in the last episode, we uh, encountered the Knight family. It that would be an ideal situation for a lot of us. A lot of us, <laughs> a lot of us day walkers are uh, ugh, not accomplishing as much as we could. Oh my god! But goodness. with the Knight family, they showed a quick. They showed a. They showed an interesting perspective on how you can get shit done twice as much. You so know we had we had Rick who had rock hard abs, right? Right. Rick and Morty, both of them had rock hard abs. Um, Summer, what did Summer do? Summer was doing her chores. Summer was doing her chores. So washing dishes. Uh, Beth learned to play an instrument. Yes, yes. And Jerry, Jerry, Jerry was writing letters to himself. That's right. He had finally, <laughs> Jerry had finally gotten a pen pal. Wow. Oh my goodness. So that yeah. Was a, that that whole, yeah. that that whole episode was was messed up. But it, but like it did make you kind of think like like if you did have a second person in your life, like what you would do. Oh my what goodness. What you would like? Because I mean that's that's a. That is like, it's almost like cheating, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like a boss, you're literally delegating work to everybody else, you know what I'm saying? So your task get accomplished, but it's no weight off of your, it's no sweat off of your back, you know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, you man. could get in shape overnight, That that's something else. That would be amazing. That would we, be we'd, amazing. We'd have, the whole world would be fit if would, that was the case. Pretty much, <laughs> unless you had other priorities in life, I don't know. Oh man. So in the end, what happened, um, the Knight family took over. The Knight family eventually took over, but the Knight family couldn't manage a day family task, which was paying bills and <laughs> performing jobs. <laughs> they ran out of food, money, and their house was falling apart, basically. Um, later, some... What? I wrote it down. Hold on. Right. The Sonambulator. Right. That got destroyed. <laughs> so they made a huge one so that they could forever take over the day family's uh, uh, lives. Mm -hmm. And so they had to destroy that machine so they could get the regular day family back. Yeah, so that's a great that's a great recap of uh, season six, episode four, mm -hmm. uh, the Knight Family. Today we are on season six, episode five, the final desmithation. So I, I mean, I don't know about you, but I love the final destinations. I mean, those movies were straight to the point. We are here to make sure everybody that is in this film dies, dies. in the most horrific, gruesome, creative way possible. So. With the animated acid trip that is Rick and Morty, I can only imagine the adventure we are about to get into. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. Uh, that was some fantastic show making. And before you say that sounded racist, you can ask the waiter how they say it. It's Panda Express, Jenny. The waiter's from Portland. Oh, who else is excited for the zoo tomorrow? Zoos are my favorite kind of non-water park. It's a shame that they both give you diarrhea. You only get diarrhea at the zoo. <laughs> Oh my god, yo! Here we go! Oh my goodness. That's where they started? <laughs> oh. 
They're doing a they're breaking bad. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> In technology. Yeah? <coughs> Watch Rick's eyeball. Yo. That was sick. I sleep on a bed of loose grains and begin every morning by dragging my perfect vagina across Chinese silver grains. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your mother to work. <gasps> Hi, Jerry. Your friends picked me up in a limousine. They said you want something, and I should be the one to give it to you. Oh. Are you guys enjoying? But first. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I lost his eyes. Oh shit. I am the son of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, mama put them things away. Spider-Man. Oh! No! 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 <laughs> feed him. Feed it to him. Feed it to him. Oh my god, bro. That was intense. Fortune reads, you will enjoy another awesome Rick and Morty adventure. Jay. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Jay. He was inches, inches, centimeters. Oh my gosh. I wonder if he was still taped up. No, we didn't see no oh tape. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing is like is man. You need new adjectives. <laughs> so disappointed. So you can do. Got it. Got it. Well, that was quite interesting. Well, <laughs> another incredible Rick and Morty adventure. Unbelievable. Oh, man.
they made Gwyneth Paltrow's look as useless as she looks in those Marvel movies. <laughs> like, I mean, like, honestly, like. Oh, man. What, what's her name brand called? Goop? Goop. Goop. Goop, right. Oh, my God. She don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> she sleeps on a bed of grain and rubs her vagina. <laughs> No, she said some Bye. crazy things on her, on her freaking uh, app or magazine amazing. or whatever it is that she has. App but... amazing. That's amazing. Oh, man. Another amazing Rick and Morty adventure. Yep. I mean, what is there to say? So the episode started. We got the fortunes. After they got the fortunes, like literally the, 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 before, the before introduction scene, you're going to have sex with your mother. Cut. It's like, what? And then this. And then Panda Express, Panda Express is doing their Running Breaking Bad. Lab, they have yeah. their their own meth lab. It w- wow. A whole distribution center. I me, mean, I'm just thinking about to, to be honest, how impressive the writing is, like how they how they put that story together. And it's like, what would a Rick and Morty movie be like? That would be that would be like two hours of absolute madness, absolute madness. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, this episode, another incredible episode. Yeah. Another incredible episode. This time, Jerry was the focus. So I see, I, I do see that pattern that, you know, like uh, uh, Beth. So it started with a more well, Rick, a more well lived. Then it started, then we had Beth episode. We had, uh, did we have a summer episode? Yeah, it was so the, the, the we'll Die Hard later. episode. It was a oh, summer yeah, no, yeah. episode. Then we had Beth with Instinct. Now we have a Jerry episode. Mm-hmm. So, like, I see the theme that they're going through, but the stories they're creating for you guys are incredible. It's wild. They have Where they have as incredible they have as incredible stories as Marvel has impressive stories. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the thing is, Marvel has to have to have some boundaries. You know what I'm saying? Like, not every hero can be world conquering or like Captain Marvel or, but like literally because Rick and Morty, they're the only thing they seem to be bound by is animation. Like, that is it. If they can draw it, they can create it, they can create a story around it, and they can make it relevant. And the thing is, the stories are poignant. The stories actually tie together. We saw specifically Rick before that he had a meet a new friend, um, a meet a new friend fortune, fortune in the box when he went in, but you didn't think nothing of it. It was just one of the ones that you saw. Yeah. Then at the end of the show, he's like, I was immortal until you... Th-. And I'm like, man, there's so, ma- there's so much depth and layers to a... And literally, it's an animated acid it. trip. And there are so acid many depths trip. and layers to it that are... It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's unbelievable, man. Like, holy moly. Shit. And then that creature that has a digestive system that 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 basically, like he said, he pulls the... Uh, the way fate works is pulling the unknown towards the known. And that's the, the, digest, the digestive system... Whatever it does, it you know it it sort of perpetuates that that scenario. Hmm. Wow, fortune cookie! Like literally, like these guys are in the writer's room. They have a basket and like they literally pick out a thing. It says fortune cookie, and they're like, okay, let's go. You know, like fortune. And they build off of that. Yeah. Wow. So now the final destination part makes perfect <laughs> sense because that let you know what was going to happen the fortune let you know what was going to happen and the whole movie every which way possible they tried to get that to happen just like in the final was, destinations which are which is an incredible franchise it was it was almost inevitable for jerry to fuck his mom that's right <laughs> like it was, it was crazy it like you see her panties inevitable. ripping off as she's being sucked. That was into crazy. the portal, like, oh when, when she when she when she slid down, down the, the thing slide and, and her, her dress, dress ripped, I was like, <laughs> God, damn. <laughs> Jerry's at the bottom of the slide. Obviously, they la- she lands on top of it. Oh my God, too much, too much. Rick's weaponry, like, other than the predator, like Rick's weaponry is is some of the sickest you'll ever see. Like this guy is. This guy could uh, kill a god for crying out loud. The way this guy goes on, man, it's and everything's just in in his back pocket. Yo, at the all, eye at all times. when his eye came out went up and was the surveillance cam. A, a couple. L- l- um. He had Spider Man legs. Did you see when when the portal yeah, was? Yeah, I said it as it was going on. It was, right. I'm like, yo, like Spider Man, okay. literally saving him from the portal that st- st- shelling him into space. Yeah. And then, like, a couple of weeks ago, he had the detachable arms that came, the, his arms dropped off, and then he came, the arms with the, the the laser whips, and... Like, 
they were going down in the truck and they had to they were getting the retinal scan and he threw those two metal yes, spiders on over things, eyes, eyes. To, yo man that's crazy the technological advancements in this show is crazy the script is even crazier like I kind of want to look at the, the, the I, I'm going to take a look at the writer's names and see what else they wrote. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? That's because a good idea. I remember before I had actually watched Rick and Morty, I kept hearing, oh, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty. And like me, I like I, I like Family Guy, I like The Simpsons, you know what I'm saying? Up until a certain point, you know, until it started getting absolutely. The Simpsons, I just stopped watching, but The Family Guy, I just got. When it, around the peanut butter jelly time, I was just like, you know what, this is getting yeah. too ridiculous. And I'm me even I remember when I asked my friend, I was like, yo, so what is it about? You know, what is it and like, come on, like it's like trying to tell somebody what color a Rubik's Cube is. Like, you, no chance. No chance. You just have to experience it for yourself, man. So man. Whew. Another another exhilarating adventure with Rick and Morty. <laughs> what do you guys think about the episode, man? Leave, leave a comment down below about what fortunes you've had in the past and what your Rick and Morty fortune would be. That would be a dope thing. Everybody, leave a comment down below on what your what your favorite Rick and what your potential Rick and Morty fortune cookie would say. You know, I'm I'm looking forward to hearing the sick, twisted, <laughs> dark answers that you guys have to come up with. But other than that, you guys like, share, comment subscribe and you guys can check out our full reactions that are now available on patreon go over to the link in the description below to get access to our patreon and uh for beauty and the beard we're signing out peace